This video looks at two examples of a sequence style question. In the first part we're told a rule for a sequence, which is to get from one term to the next, we double the previous term and add 5. So we know the third term. Now to get to the fourth term, for example, we would double 27 and then add 5. But the question asks to go backwards to find the first term. Now to go backwards we reverse the instructions. So rather than double and then add 5, we go backwards. We will take away 5 and then divide by 2. That's the reverse operations. So the third term is 27. So the second term, 27 take 5 is 22. Then divide by 2 is 11. Then to get to the first term, we do it again. 11 take away 5 is 6, then divide by 2 is 3. So the first term is 3. We can check that. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 5 is 11. 11 times 2 is 22, plus 5 is 27. That just confirms our process. In the second part, we're asked to find the nth term of a sequence given by 6, 10, 14, 18, 22. Now we observe how there's a common difference. Each term goes up by 4. Now this means that the nth term is of the form 4n plus something. Now to get the something, we think, right, the first term is 6. How do you get from 4 to 6? Well, 4 plus 2 equals 6. And this therefore gives the nth term of the sequence. To check this, when n is 1, 4 times 1 plus 2 is indeed 6. When n is 2, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. When n is 3, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So this sequence correctly evaluates the given sequence and is therefore called the nth term.